What's going on, everybody? This is the Blockchain Backer, bringing you the latest cryptocurrency news and analysis. Today, we'll have a quick video. We'll take a peek over here at the Bitcoin price chart and the cryptocurrency market. It is a down day today in the crypto market. I posted over here on Twitter this morning. I'm watching the Dow Jones this morning before putting out a video, looking to see if we have an intraday turnaround, which I would anticipate a turnaround in crypto as well if we do. And essentially, I've been over here watching paint dry all day over on the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Uh, one of the things I've talked about on my channel is, you know, you guys know it. I, I personally believe that the cryptocurrency market is tied to the equities market. It's tied to the stock market. And I've covered this in previous videos on how, you know, the correction that we've been seeing in the Dow Jones really all year long, starting in January of this year, starting on January 5th has been an ABC correction with waves of equal length happening in here. And that wave B ended up being a 702 Fibonacci retracement in here for the B wave. I've compared that to Bitcoin from back in 2021 to show how, you know, we had an ABC correction, waves of equal length. And I'm pointing over here to how we've had our double bottom come in in here. That's what we had for Bitcoin. And we've had it right now in the Dow Jones. And we're kind of just hanging out over here, waiting to get some type of an uptrend started for the Dow Jones, which I, in my personal view, would be good for the cryptocurrency market. So we started off the day with a pretty big move down in the Dow. It moved down like 450 points, I believe. And of course, crypto followed along with it. But essentially, I'm just sitting here waiting for us to get an uptrend started over here in the Dow. I definitely don't want to see 32,000 taken out. All of the structure stuff makes sense over here on the Dow, but waiting for us to get kind of a pop to move back up. And um, if you don't know this about Bitcoin, when we had this big kind of relief here, there was a little bit of a catalyst in there, which kind of led to a lot of the culture of what happened with Bitcoin back in 2021. As you guys know, Elon Musk played a big role in, you know, the Dogecoin stuff and Bitcoin and laser eyes and diamond hands and, and all the, you know, excitement that came to crypto and retail investor stuff that came to crypto. But at this moment right in here, there was even news articles written written about it on January 29th, how Elon Musk had changed his bio over there on Twitter to hashtag Bitcoin and Bitcoin fired up 20% there. So things were kind of boring, kind of lame over here in crypto. And then suddenly out of nowhere, Elon Musk is like, hey, hashtag Bitcoin. And then as you guys know, then over time over here, Tesla announces that they added Bitcoin to their balance sheet. Um, but, you know, the question is, do we have any kind of catalyst coming up in here in the stock market and coming up for, you know, inflation and all that stuff, right? Today, we got the CPI numbers. We've got 7.9% inflation year over year. Well, is there any type of catalyst coming up pretty soon here for the stock market and for markets in general? And yes, there is. So I've talked about three overhanging issues that have been happening for markets in general, and especially for crypto, right? You've had the executive order hanging over our heads curious of what that would end up being. We've had Federal Reserve interest rate hikes, and then you've got the Russia-Ukraine you know, controversy and geopolitical situation going on over there. But we got through the executive order unscathed. Next up, Federal Reserve interest rate hikes, and that's actually taking place next week. So a lot of answers coming on whether or not, you know, is the Fed going to make some type of move that's going to hurt markets or help markets? Or is there going to be a narrative of that people can't trust the Fed to do anything, right? I'm a firm believer that uh, in the, you know, show me the charts and I'll tell you the news that <laughs> if this structure just continues going, what does it tell you happens in here, right? It, it would tell you uh, people are going to be happy. We are, or, look, they're either going to be happy of whatever the Fed does and they're going to say, great, we can keep on marching up in markets or there could be like this narrative of that things are so out of control and prices are going to skyrocket so high the fed can't do anything to stop it i don't know what the narrative will be but the structure says we come out of it the other side okay and if you really kind of pay attention to what's going on in here i mean if we're following the structure it indicates that an uptrend is ready to begin we've now done an abc we've double bottomed we're back in here for kind of some final accumulation happening in here before we resume some type of uptrend happening in here. And I do believe that the Dow Jones is due for something like that. As we know, the Dow has not quite reached out to a 4.236 extension at this point. An ABC correction before making its final move sounds appropriate to me. That is what was going on here for Bitcoin at this time is that it was making an ABC correction before making its final move, right? So we had a big old breakout into all time highs and then it made get you on a better time frame there an ABC correction and then going on for one more big push, right? So I believe that is what's going on here on the Dow. 
so long as we hold the lows that we've already put into place. Otherwise, this is a perfectly standard ABC correction with the double bottom coming in here. And for some people, they may not care about this. They only care about crypto, but it's part of my broader picture that I, I focus on the stock market. It, and, you know, during the first like year of having my YouTube channel, I really had to like fight people in the comment section of my videos because it was always argued that it was an uncorrelated asset class to the stock market. But I had to like point out it's because it gets marketed that way. Bitcoin has been marketed that way, that it's its own thing, that when the stock market falls apart, Bitcoin's going to do great. But we have no evidence of that. We have only evidence to show that Bitcoin and crypto moves in unison with the stock market. So looking to the stock market for the positive signs of when things can start taking off, it's important to me. And so that's why I focus on it too. But this is good, right? You see the stock market, you see an ABC correction in the Dow, you see where we're at in relation to it. It's double bottomed. I'll zoom in on this a little bit more. You could see where we're at. Here's the Dow, here's Bitcoin, here's double bottom. That's where we're at right now. So if this structure is true, if it holds, that's optimistic. Hey, look, it's up, up and away it goes. And so fingers crossed we see that coming in the next several days. Otherwise, Bitcoin's still just flopping around in this range in here. Same thing goes for XRP. Had a pop up yesterday or the day before. Boom, right back down again. Still just ranging in here. Just a highly volatile market with a lot of things going on out there. So positive to get the executive order completed in behind us yesterday. Next up, Federal Reserve. And hopefully that gives the market the sentiment it needs, the animal spirits it needs to get the stock market and the cryptocurrency market moving. But otherwise, that's really it for today. Like I said, I'd keep it pretty brief. I've mentioned yesterday's video. I've had a fever all week. So I've been pushing it through with a 100 degree fever all week. I spent the entire day watching the Dow Jones and it was just like watching paint dry. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I, you know, and I, I just, I've gotten past that point in my life. I remember early on when I got into watching crypto charts, I'd sit there and stare at it all day. I'd stare at the one minute charts. I'd watch everything all day long. And I've gotten past that. But today was one of those days where I was just literally there watching the Dow Jones to see if it would pop up so I could get in here and start recording and get something going. But otherwise, it was just kind of obvious what had happened. You know, the Dow fell, crypto fell. If the structure is true over there on the Dow, if we can hold that 32,000 level, it looks like we're at Wyckoff accumulation at the final stages of it. And it's time for a sign of strength to show up. So we'll watch what happens with futures tonight and tomorrow morning. And hopefully we can get that thing moving and crypto goes along with it. Otherwise, pretty tame day out there in regards to things to really talk about that have changed in the market. Hopefully that was just a final accumulation. Otherwise, I'm going to wrap it up, guys. I'm going to get some more rest again. And hopefully by tomorrow, I can feel 100%. But I want to thank you so much for watching my channel. If you're looking for something to do, of course, you can check out my course over here on bcbacker.com. Uh, it's a lot of content in here. I put together, you know, deep diving into the previous Bitcoin bull runs and the previous altcoin market cycles. I teach you how to set up your own charts and your own indicators in here. And just a lot of educational content in this course with the most recent market update down there on February 28th. And you could check this all out over here on bcbacker.com. You can follow me over here on Twitter at bcbacker. And I want to thank you so much for watching my channel. If you could, please like this video and give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified of when I create new content and when I go live. As always, this is not investment advice and I am not a financial advisor. But if you ever need a pick me up or a little bit of reassurance, just remember that the blockchain backers got your back. Have a good one.